It is born. It is born. This is the glue that I use. I am super excited. How do you guys apply eyeshadows then? Um, then after applying eyeshadows, you apply this. Like, how do you guys do it? You know, I've been watching these videos, ne? Ay, ay, these tutorials, I just wrote them in. Ay. <laughs> like, for real, man. a huge transformation do you guys understand that this is a huge transformation so yeah well this is me oh gosh I look so damn pretty so yeah hi good people welcome back to my channel this is your girl Tambi and you are tuning in to my channel baby girl got some lashes on we be talking like this today this is how we'll be talking. This is our conversation. Do you understand? So yeah, good people. So this is how I look with lashes. I have never put on lashes like this before. As you can precisely see by the topic today, we'll be having a different session. Guys, let's just get into this video. Okay. Okay, so this is my bath. Cheers, cheers everyone. Cheers to everyone who has a bath. <laughs> so, um, my name is Tembisile and my surname is Siakamela. Tembisile is Zulu, Siakamela is Spady. Siakamela is from my mother's side, then Tembisile is basically from my father's side. But most people do call me Tembi and I am a 24 years old student from <laughs> university <laughs> okay I'm kidding from TUT and I am actually doing my last year so yeah this is me and the I'm um, actually on my 20s as I said I am 24 years old and my journey so far since our I turned 20 it has been incredible it has been all about learning it has been about making choices it has been about growing and just becoming a better version of yourself i have not been a person of um having an intellectual mind or having to notice that i'm actually a business orientated person but what i came to realize is that all these years i always had ideas in my mind what i would like to do and what i wouldn't like to do but also i never had a clear goal of exactly what is it that i would like to do ever since and this is something i've noticed after my metric that damn go fix your life you know but either way it is what it is so i am so I am a student um, and I'm actually residing in one of the races in Pretoria and yeah man this is basically just my life. My life is actually not that interesting but one thing I know is that every person's life is interesting because it's different. So I would say that it's not really um, the world, in the world's interest but it is a very basic life you know as student I mean I'm still a student right now and I'm just living a normal student life but others wouldn't see it like that so I actually grew up from Alex <laughs> my first um, I actually went to primary in Lindhurst Lindhurst primary school then I moved to Orange Farm I went to complete my primary school I went to complete my grade 6 and 7 in Orange Farm Masvambane College it's not precisely it's not really a college I don't know I, I don't know why do they call it a college but it is some biggest private school in Orange Farm and yeah it's the Val side if if you 
Kana asking where is Orange Farm and it's not really far from Soweto it's an hour depending on traffic but it's so not far and yeah I actually grew up in Alexandra from Alex I went to Orange Farm completed my studies there completed my primary and high school I, I was residing between Orange Farm and Alex Orange Farm and Alex but I ended up in Orange Farm either way because I did my matric at Orange Farm I did my matric at Okay, sorry, that was so not funny, but this is how you say it. Orca Secondary School, and that's where I completed my grade 12. And yeah, coming back, I had to come back in Pretoria, and here I am. Here I am in my room, and I'm actually doing my last year, and which I'll be completing on... Wow, what is this? I'll be completing my last year on... What is that? A match, ne? Yeah, it's somewhere there. March, April. So, as I told you that I'm a business orientated person. For those who know me, I'm actually in Have a Life. I'm doing Have a Life. I'm 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 a Have a Life distributor. They say, um, I'm a Have a Life distributor. I sell Have a Life products. I um, I have grown and expanded into training people and just advising them also but before it was just advice you know product advice and um, the business how to enter how to be part of the family of have a life and how to sell your product and all that and which products to use but now I have expanded not really but I'm actually getting there to being a real coach like coaching being a personal trainer if you want to but it doesn't come for free which is the product in order for me to be your trainer and yeah man and if you need any advices about it they have a live business how it operates just let me know please do not hate okay just do not hate i'm not asking you to be part of the have a life family i'm just telling you not to hate okay so yeah and furthermore um one thing about the have a life business is the fact that their products work they massively work those products are not a waste trust me those products are not a scam they are working nah, that's one thing i can tell you they work very good they're so good guys i need to fix my lash let me quickly just fix this lash uh, because it's disappointing me much. I don't like be looking at my mistakes over and over again. But I'll just fix everything when I'm done with this. So yeah, um, when I decided to actually do the Have a Life business, I had an ambition, I had a goal, and I still do have, which is the reason why I'm still pushing. Honestly, it's never easy. It's never easy to approach people about have a life because why it's a lot of us There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of people selling this product online physically and all our future goals um, it, it actually starts with what I have started with right now I will not precisely go into details about my goals and visions but I'll, I'll just let you guys know that it's whatever that i've started now that i want to accomplish so whatever that you have seen me doing it's just me um trying to enroll something in my life and reach a certain goal in my life being in your 20s is one critical stage whereby you need to know what you want it's a stage that gives you time to um sit but it's not really sitting back but it's you unfolding yourself and understanding what exactly or what kind of a person are you and what um what do you like you know like th those type of things at times you get very scared of how your life will turn up because everything just unfolds you know is that if you are on your 20s right now try to unfold some things in your life I'm not an expert. I'm not, it's something that I had realized. I, I remember me turning 23 last year. It gave me a lot of thoughts of exactly what is it that I want to do with my life. 
what is it that at 25 years old I would look back and say that I've achieved you know because I remember I used to have um, I used to say in high school I used to say that at 25 I should be married when I reach 27 I have kids I have a kid or I have kids you know so 25 for me it's it's my age you know it's my goal age though it might not enroll the way I have expected but the things that I've been doing in my 20s should be the one that determine my 30s so my goals right now whatever that i'm doing now let it be the work of reaching my goals in whatever age that i'll be at that's when you know that's when i was able to unfold everything about my life about what really do i want when i turn this certain age mm. so that's basically me and um what I do so my love life I think the topic of life of love life in somebody else life it's very interesting it's it's like I want to know are you dating you know like we all have these different perceptions about somebody that we do not know but um, I'm actually dating I'm not single I've dated this one person um, ever since I did my first year so that's how quick I was, I would say. My first day, I met this lovely guy, which is my boyfriend right now. Um, we dated ever since. Though we started off our relationship as friends, because he was the kindest person I knew around dress, and he was the only person, oh no, I, I'm not really the only person I knew, but he was becoming the only person who I knew, you know, that is, didn't matter anymore. <laughs> was able to unfold me. I was able to become free around him. I was able to just be crazy as I am. I was able to just be me. I didn't have to fold my hands and smile and listen to some silly jokes which were not funny and all that mm -hmm. you know so I I was able to just be me so yeah man it comes to um, my belief I actually believe in God I believe that God exists I believe that he's the one who allows me to wake up each and every morning and have um, the strength and energy to do anything and everything I have planned out through the day I believe that his plans are the most uh, prosperous than mine I believe that um, he actually created me and you you and I you know just he created heavens and earth I believe that there is eternal life I just I just believe in God um, yeah so yeah, I got distracted. <laughs> the person who was at my door was like, Oh yeah, damn Debbie. <laughs> I'm working. That's what I'm doing. I'm working. And one thing I love about myself. So uh before we conclude this whole thing, one thing I love about myself is the fact that I am a positive person. I'm not perfect, ne? I'm not perfect. At times, I also get to be so discouraged that I question myself. I feel so um, down and, you know, not wanting anything to do with life and all that. But one thing I love about myself is that I'm able to receive the strength from God and just, um, you know, motivate myself, encourage myself to... To, to come back why because I know the life of being discouraged I know the life of feeling so down and feeling so useless I know that life so me having to experience that type of life I was able to grow in a space that made me realize sorry you know what you are more than a conqueror and here I am you know here I am I'm still standing I'm still pushing so good people thank you so much for watching my videos I really hope that you guys loved it and yeah man that is a short summary of the kind of person I am so 
till next time. Love you.